You can find me, me, at Aaron Hill TV, V, at Aaron Hill TV, V, at Aaron Hill TV, V, at Aaron Hill TV, dot TV, on IG. November Night Stream. This is November Night Stream. It's in the background. All right. The seven best battery-powered wireless PA systems. This is an article, and this will be an article response. So, some context before I get into it. <clears throat> Why am I looking up this subject? So, I just bought a Roland Juno DS88, which is an 88 key keyboard that runs on batteries. The reason why I got that is because I'm ready to start doing some outside concerts during this time. And I wanted to find something that ran on batteries and felt good and sound good. So the Roland Juno DS88 is my recommendation if you're a keyboardist out there looking. Atia, thanks for hanging out. And in addition to having a keyboard, you gotta have something for the sound to come through. Hence, a PA speaker. Now I have a bunch of PA speakers, but I needed one that could run without uh, being plugged up into a wall. Cause of course I'm trying to go and find, you know, remote places out in the park and just other places to play. So here we go. That's why I'm looking this up and I'm gonna read this article. The article is actually in the comment section if you're watching live. And if you're watching after the fact on YouTube, then it is in the description. So thanks for hanging out. The seven best battery powered wireless PA systems. What are the overall battery powered wireless PA systems on the market? One more thing before we get started. If you're watching this live, you won't see the screen now that I'm looking at, but if you watch this on YouTube afterwards on my channel, Aaron Hill TV, you'll see everything I'm looking at on the screen with the pictures and everything. So look out for that video. A battery powered PA system is essentially a standard PA system that can run completely wireless without being plugged in. Being a PA system, this also means each speaker has a mixer with separate channels that's either built into the speaker or comes separately. All but one of the wireless PA speakers on our list use a rechargeable battery rather than wasteful disposable batteries. This in turn eliminates consistent battery purchases that become costly, inconvenient, and a hassle. And that's definitely true. Um, I was open to using something where I could put physical batteries in it, but a rechargeable battery is much better because my keyboard actually has uh, physical batteries that I have to put there. So um, they said all but one use a rechargeable battery on this list. So six of them do. In short, here are the seven best battery powered wireless PA systems. The Roland BA330, the Bose S1 Pro, the Behringer MP440BT Pro, it's a long ass name. <laughs> Musizic, M-U-S-Y-S-I-C, Musizic, Import PA2K 2000 watt. These some hell of names, <laughs> ProRec Freedom 15, JBL Professional, and Samson Expedition XP106W. <laughs> I think the worst name on that list is the Behringer MPA40BT, but like just give it a shorter name. All right, so first up, the Roland BA330. The Roland BA330 is one of the top shelf battery power PA systems on this list. It can either be plugged into an outlet or battery powered with eight AA batteries. So this is the one on the list that runs off of um, physical batteries. Leonard Jack, thanks for hanging out, brother. Derek Harris, thanks for hanging out. So this one runs off of physical batteries. This is one of those systems that will surprise you in terms of how loud and clear it is compared to its portable size. With four, six uh, and a half inch speakers and two tweeters, the BA330, produces a full stereo sound for just about any application. On the back, you'll find a, a built-in mixer with four channels, two XLR, an anti-feedback feature, and a master equalizer. 
This anti-feedback button works surprisingly well at reducing feedback from any type of microphone. That's pretty good. Yeah, nice to see you too, Leonard. Of all the systems on this list, the Roland BA330 is hands down the easiest to set up. Channel one and two are for microphones or instruments, where channel three and four are stereo channels. Each channel has its own volume and effects control. You can either use delay or reverb for your effects. Overall, the Roland BA330 is one of the highest rated wireless battery powered PA systems on the market. I highly recommend it for just about any application. So I'm definitely gonna be checking into that, even though it has um, AA batteries, but I like the way they talked about it. Now with these, I'm gonna actually go and do a listen as well. I'm probably gonna do a review or reaction video. That's just to like the sound of it. Um, but for right now, I'm kind of liking that. It looks like the price of that is 619 at Guitar Center, 477 at Alto Music, 620 at BH, 529 at Reverb.com, 630 at Sam Ash. Okay, so between the 480 and 630 range. Phil, thanks for hanging out, bro. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of up there, but you know, let's see what's up next. Oh, so they have pros and cons. So the pros is that it's four channel, great sound, uh, very loud and great effects. The cons is that it's a bit more expensive than the rest, rest, obviously, and it doesn't have a rechargeable battery. It must be charged with double A's for wireless ability. So I have to get double A batteries. Um, 15 hours of battery life. Uh, eight AA batteries, a stereo amplifier, two RCA inputs, auxiliary, speaker mount on the bottom, four channel mix on the back, anti-feed, very loud, with four six and a half speakers, two tweeters. Oh, and was this for one speaker or for two? That's the one thing I didn't, I didn't check out with the uh, price of these. Is this the price of one speaker or the price of two? And I'll find out in about two seconds. So if you're in the, I think everybody should have one of these, like all musicians, because, you know, those of us that use amplifiers, because I mean, this gives you the ability to play in some places where you just never would before. I mean, some places you just wouldn't even be able to play there because you weren't even near a power source, even if it was power around, it just wasn't close enough. So I can go play out on the beach, y'all, <laughs> play in the middle of the park. That's gonna be so fun. I'm so looking forward to this. So um, this is 619, yeah, for one. So that's gotta be an amazing sounding speaker for 619 for one. All right, next up we have the Bose S1 Pro. The Bose S1 is a top of the line battery power PA system with Bluetooth capabilities. This unit is a bit pricey, but extremely high quality. I can imagine with it being Bose with near flawless re reviews. If you're looking for a top tier compact PA system that has wireless capabilities, the Bose S1 is a great choice. You have the option to either plug this speaker directly into a power outlet or use it as a wireless speaker with its built-in rechargeable battery. On a full charge, it gives you up to 11 hours of playtime while it's not plugged in. The Bluetooth range gives you up to 30 feet. That's pretty cool. It's incredibly light and compact, weighing 15 pounds. However, the sound quality and volume are significantly louder than it looks. Wow, 15 pounds, that's really light. Something I find interesting about this speaker is its exceptional versatility with four positions of sound. Wow, the best way to describe it is in the picture below, which is located on the back of the unit's box. So for those that are watching me live, you basically have four positions, um, and that's where they have, let's see, those people they play. So it's a guitar player in the middle, speaker behind, pointing at the, like from behind the guitar player to the audience, that's one position. Another is a monitor from the floor, which is how I'm gonna kinda use it, but I'm gonna face mine for the audience. Um, on an elevated surface facing an audience and then a, a high speaker stand. So you can use this different ways. As you can see, it can be used for musicians, speakers to a sitting audience, speakers 
to us. Oh, they had that twice. <laughs> or as a monitor for musicians, each setup varies on the audience for optimal performance. To sum up the sound quality in a few short words, a, a crystal clear response with an immense amount of volume. That's, that's pretty cool. Bose hit a grand slam with this portable PA system. The rich and high quality sound it produces with such a little speaker will genuinely blow your mind. And I definitely have to say, I have a few Bose products. In fact, my, uh, where is it? I thought it was close by. I actually have a Bose Colorlink uh, speaker somewhere around here, which is, uh, oh, here it is. So I use a Bose Colorlink uh, Bluetooth speaker. And this thing, for $120, this thing blasts. This thing rocks. A lot of definition to the sound, good lows. You can see I got a big ding here. I've dropped it a couple times. This thing still works. <laughs> it is not malfunction. I love this little guy right here. You know, so I can definitely vouch for Bose and I've had some other Bose products too. So the, the rich and high quality sound it produces with such a little speaker will blow your mind. Um, it provides more than enough volume for most indoor or outdoor venues, leaving headroom for more. The thing that surprised me the most was the unique tone match feature. In short, it automatically EQs the sound depending on the location of the room where you are. Hmm. After I use the tone match, I generally need to adjust a few things, very subtle or none at all. This feature plays a vital benefit to musicians or speakers who don't know much about EQ. So this is good for people with relatively little knowledge. Overall, if you're looking for a high quality wireless portable system without a budget, the Bose S1 Pro is an incredible option. Be sure to check out the reviews. The pros of that is very compact and portable battery operated with a built-in rechargeable battery, two-year warranty, three-channel mixer, tone match. I'm really liking that tone match thing. Like Cons is that uh, few people receive defective units. Be sure to purchase from respected online sellers. And that's not a, that's not a bad con at all. Um, yeah, a defective unit here or there. I can imagine that for the most part, they're good. Like, I'm gonna check on that. So let's see the price of the Bose S1 Pro, it's $599. What's interesting is how the hell is it $1,500 on Sam Ash? How does it jump from $599 to $1,600? But it's $600, $623, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625, $625
case you prefer to plug the unit in, you can plug it into the wall with its included six foot power cord. With a metal grill, it's well built while maintaining its light weight of 20 pounds. The speaker and microphone are straight, or rather straightforward to use. You will not need a manual. This is yet another highly rated portable system with 40 watts. The foldable transport handle and wheels, that's nice, makes it much more convenient to travel with. However, the compact design and lightweight make it portable and convenient as it is. Besides the portability, another convenient factor is the easy Bluetooth pairing. All you have to do is press the button labeled pairing on the back of the speaker. After that, click Behringer, I'm not saying that name, on your phone to connect it. That's real cool. That's real cool. In terms of sound quality, the Behringer is clear and detailed for its compact size. In my experience, it's the best, it's best to bring the treble up about 75% for the best sound. Okay, so you already have to make a little bit of adjustment in his words. The low end is decent but can be better. A downside to the unit is the poor built quality of the microphone that comes with the purchase. But I expect that anyway, because that's just to, to really make you feel like you're really getting something. Because you are getting you know, for some people, they won't even use this for like professional. They might just want it for home use or something simple like, you know, if they're having a cookout, you know, something like that, and a family reunion, something they want to talk. So they don't really need like a serious mic, just something to project. So, you know, that's that's a good balance. You must be very careful and not drop it. However, the sound quality the microphone produces is clear and does the job. Pros is lightweight and portable, 12 hours of battery life, and comes with a wired microphone. Cons, few claim, few claim longevity issues. Uh, charge stops working, speaker blows. So that's the cons, and let's see. Price of that is $268. So I could understand that. I mean, to be honest, for 200, like I see one on here for 214. I got one on here for 160. For that price, you know, you expect it to be what it is. It's kind of middle of the road. I probably wouldn't be looking at this because I want a really good quality. And even if I have to spend a little bit extra, I think it'll be worth it in the long run. There's the Bose S1 Pro. That's a pretty nice looking speaker there. Ooh, that thing looks good. Mm, look at this picture here. Yeah, this, this, this is, ugh, that thing just look, that thing just, and I know Bose as well. Yeah, I might be kicking out that 500. All right, let's see what's up next, because this thing is really detailed, so we're only halfway through. The Music, Musicic Import Pat, uh, PA2K 2000 Watt. So as you can see, this almost looks like the Fender Passport series. Now this, unlike everything else, comes with two speakers. I also like this whole handle deal too. I definitely recommend this more so on the lower end for people that just need something real simple. I like this actually for that. And I haven't even heard it, but just off of the specs there and knowing what I know about Behringer, that's, that's a decent buy. This one here looks like the Fender. I know I'm not gonna be buying this because I can already tell like there's a certain feel and I could tell what this is a bit cheaper. The Musicic, Musicic, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Import uh, Pad 2 is a full setup battery powered PA system that can entirely fold up into a suitcase. For more accessible travel, it comes with two speakers, a five channel mixer, has a built in Class D amplifier, and integrated wireless mic receiver. Two UH, UHF wireless microphones, so two microphones rechargeable battery and a wireless headset, two cables and an AC power adapter. Um, running below 600 on Amazon. I'm gonna start skimming y'all because this, this is kind of long. <laughs> it's one of the, the ultimate battery powered um, PA combinations. Uh, both wireless microphones come with the purchase can connect directly to the mixer. So there's no need to purchase anything extra there. And they say they produce the sound quality that's great for speeches. Real simple. 2,000 watts, it can get, wow, that's a lot of watts though. It can get pretty loud, covering a medium to large audience with no problem. Built-in rechargeable batteries last up to four to five hours. So this is the much, much shorter than the rest. 
Considering this system has five channels, you can throw a mini concert and mic your entire band in the wilderness. That that actually is true. <laughs> now, for some like, you know, uh, Gorilla Go Hard, you know, like, yeah, you can mic up your whole band for four to five hours. <laughs> he said, then that's unless you play an eight piece band. If you prefer jamming music on your phone, it has built in Bluetooth connectivity. Sound quality is very good. Considering the low price, um, he, he wasn't expecting great quality, but he said he was mistaken, so I give it I give it back a few points. The mids are punchy, high sparkle. It does lack a bit in the low. So he had to adjust the EQ, and many people use this for larger events than classrooms and conferences. It's best for speeches, musical performance, medium-sized events, weddings, or small to medium DJ gigs. Overall, I highly recommend uh, for anyone in need of a good quality battery power pay. So, you know, I can't, I, I was, you know, I did skim through it. I didn't give it its justice because I just didn't get a good feel from it. So my apologies about that. But I will say this, this does feel good for middle of the road. I still, I still think Bose. I'm going Bose because I, I already know what's about to happen with that Bose, but Anyway, I'm supposed to be doing this for the sake of everybody else too. So the pros are great quality sound, built-in rechargeable battery, foldable into a suitcase, and mixer has wheels. It's a bit heavier though on the con side. The ProRec Freedom 15 is up next. It's yet another battery powered system with two wireless microphones, 800 watts of power. A few things I like about this system is its compression driver with a titanium diaphragm and 15 inch woofer. In other words, the wrist sound is clear and full. In case the sound doesn't fit your expectations or what you're looking for, the EQ knobs on the back will do the trick for just about any voice type. This portable system provides roughly 30 feet of range, which is quite decent. It uses wheels for easy maneuvering and the remote control works relatively well and is self-explanatory and simple. Unlike every other wireless on the list, it also comes with a mountable speaker stand. Believe it or not, the stand definitely comes in handy for a vast amount of situations. I can understand that. Pros are that it's extremely high, 800 watts, FM radio, great sound quality, EQ capabilities, two wheels attached for easy travel, and able to plug PA speaker directly into. Cons, low battery life of roughly two hours per microphone, but that's only per microphone. So not the system itself, but just the... So lips must be close to microphone when speaking. Okay, not bad. Never heard of ProRec before. So I'm gonna listen to all of these. And then we got two more to go and then we're done. So Samsung Expedition. Now I'm not too big on Samsung. I, I apologize in advance, um, but I do think that this will probably be, this is almost like how I think about um, Hyundai and I don't know who else was on that list. Hyundai and say, I can't think of, so I'll just use Hyundai. So thinks, I think about Hyundai in the 80s versus Hyundai in the late 90s, early 2000s. Casio is another one. It used to be cheap, used to be really cheap, you know, but now it's much better. So Samsung is up there too. Next up, Samsung Expedition. XP106W has exceptionally well-balanced and clear sound. The build of this entire system can last, making your investment worth it. In terms of battery life, the unit is very well able to last much for much longer durations compared to other wireless PA systems. Not to forget, it's extremely loud and can hold clear audio at high levels. I most definitely recommend this system for those in need of a wireless PA and mic to cover up to 200 people. The bright and well-balanced sound of the Samson Expedition, in my opinion, is about the closest to a real setup it gets while remaining all wireless. In terms of reliability, the connection is robust. I experienced zero dropouts or cutouts due to signal interference while using this system. The speaker is very durable and was built to last. An effortless setup. Only a few buttons press a, a few button presses needed. The system is our top choice if you're in need of a portable wireless sound for vocals of any sort. 
I'm personally a much bigger fan of the vocal clarity rather than using the speaker alone to play music. Hmm. However, it still performs well for music playing. Pros is that it's Bluetooth capabilities, very good and well balanced, very loud, able to handle roughly 300 people. That's pretty loud. Very reliable connection, great durability and longevity, and able to be used in professional applications such as weddings, big speeches, and important events. Cons is more expensive than every wireless PA system on the list. <laughs> A few claims of defective microphone. Oh, and speaking of which, I jumped over. Wow, I forgot to show the prices, so let's go back. The Musi Sick is... No price up there yet, so let's go to the Pro Rec Freedom. It's $199. Pro Rec Freedom 15, $199. And then, or between $150 and $280 is on here. And $280 looks like for two pair. I mean, for a pair, I'm sorry, for two speakers. Uh, we didn't get to the JBL Professional yet. Let me. We're at the Samsung uh, Expedition. So 232 to 320. Doesn't seem bad though. That seems like I would probably recommend that. That looks like a wedding, uh, a wedding piece. That that just this this gray. <laughs> this gray just says wedding. It just says outdoor wedding. <laughs> Last but not least, the JBL Professional. This is an interesting looking little thing. And they said, last but not least, this is a remarkable battery-powered PA system. It is, it's also one of the highest rated. Now, I got my eye on this one already. Hey, Russell, thanks for hanging out, buddy. Customer, it's also one of the highest rated and customer reviewed systems on the market. The JBL Professional is one of the better choices on this list. And there are many reasons why we love it. For one, it produces fantastic and loud sound quality. Possibly one of the best sounding PA systems on this list. It has a wide range of frequency and impressive bass with its 8 inch woofer. Coming with a built in four channel mixer, you have enough channels for most applications. Acoustic duos, I'm sorry, acoustics artists or duos love using it due to its portability, ease of use, loud volume, and four channels. You'll also love its prolonged battery life. On a full charge, it gives you a staggering 12 hours of continuous playtime. Weighing 17.6 pounds, this compact and convenient PA is effortless to carry around. The mixer located on the back gives you five adjustable settings, treble, bass, reverb, gain, and master volume. Overall, the JBL Professional is an excellent battery power PA system with four channels. It's very convenient, light, loud, and produces excellent sound. Although it's a bit pricey, the system is well worth it. Be sure to check out the reviews below. He put an exclamation point on that one. I could feel his energy lift on that. It lifted my energy. <laughs> Even though I'm reading a static page. JBL, I'm, I'm going to say this is probably going to be in the mix. It's probably going to be for me between this and the Bose and the Roland, probably. So the he didn't give pros and cons of that. I guess it's because he put it all in the uh, <laughs> his breakdown of it. The details and specs is battery power, Bluetooth capabilities, four channel mix, a 12 hour battery life, 17.6 pounds, 18 inch woofer, 112 dB output, adjustable settings. And he says, quick recap, here are the best. And I think he just listed, he just listed them. Okay. I think, oh, let's look at the price of that. JBL Professional, $399, which actually, let's see, $399. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's not, wait a minute. That's not it. That was something else I was reading there. JBL Professional, let me, I gotta maybe, it's not under the name JBL Professional. Um, let's see. Professional. Let's say powered. Let's see, we're looking for battery power system. So all right, I'll, I'll type in battery power. I'm trying to figure out the right keyword to use. Battery powered. 
JBL Professional Battery Power. Okay, so maybe it is the Eon. Uh, okay, yeah, it looks like the Eon. E E-O-N-1. Let's see, I'm gonna type in Eon. So it looks like this is between $399 and $549. Let me go, go shopping real quick. So this is this is called the JBL EON. They had it on there as just JBL Professional. But it's the EON1, Eon1. So let me type that in. Eon1. Yeah, this looks this looks much better. Okay, here we go. So $399. Actually not bad. That Bose might have a contestant. Now, I really feel like the Bose is probably going to be the best sound. But the Bose was coming in at, what was it, 6? Actually, this is this is not bad. Oh, 549. Yeah. But this JBL, in fact, they have one here on the list. It's going to be a toss-up between that, that JBL and the... Uh, Roland, so yeah, Roland's still in there too. And the funny thing about the Roland is, it shouldn't be still in there, but it is because the price is so high. I'm almost wondering if it's if the price really does justify it. I'm gonna do a shootout between all three of these. I'm gonna be looking at all three of these, and I'll be doing a review video on that. So yeah, that's about it. That is my take on this. I think that this was a well-written article. He definitely went in depth. I was getting fatigued. I was getting tired going through this. <laughs> but it wasn't because he did anything bad at all. It was very, very detailed. He 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 really laid out a really good detail. Like I tried to do it all in one video. This one was once <laughs> he, he wrote it out so well you had to break it up. But anyway, that's that's my review of this article. It's definitely going to be between the Roland. BA330, the Bose S1 Pro, and the JBL Eon 1 for me. And yeah, the next video, I'll be actually doing a review video where I'll be listening to all three speakers and we'll pick through and see which one. So I hope this is helpful to you and your endeavors. And uh, yeah, drop me a line, let me know what you think. Peace. So to help me to make more content like this, please see the info in the description or comments. Thanks so much for watching. And if we're not already connected on all my other homes, the Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, etc. When you can find me, me, at Aaron Hill TV, V, at Aaron Hill TV, V, at Aaron Hill TV, V, at Aaron Hill TV. Dot TV on IG.